So in this video, we're going to go through some common scams and some quite sophisticated scams which are appearing online in people's email inboxes and also their phones. And the reason we're covering this at iMedics is because if you fall prey to these scams, of course, it can affect your mental health, especially the stress and the worry that it can cause. So let's start off with this one. This is an email. It potentially offers a confidential cure or solution for the coronavirus and it asks you to click on this link to um, find out what the cure is. Now um, there is no cure for the coronavirus, there aren't no active vaccinations available at this moment in time for the coronavirus, although the email says that this has been secretly developed by medical scientists. And for that reason, this is a scam. It should be ignored. You should not be clicking on this link. It can result in a virus or some malware, um, spyware software being downloaded onto your computer um, and it can cause serious, serious problems. So that's the first example. Second example is an email um, reportedly or it appears to be from the World Health Organization from an intensive care physician. And what this email says is that um, there is information in terms of safety measures included in the attached document up here. Now it's likely that this document is going to be um, a virus that's going to download onto your system or some type of way the hacker can of course get access to your computer or to your device and you can see that the email does not come from the World Health Organization instead, instead the URL is who for a hyphen pc.com. This is a scam email it should not be um, opened this link or this attachment should not be downloaded um, but of course it looks very legitimate in its layout so this is another scam email but from the world health organization next one is from um, reportedly uh, from the cdc so the um, centers for disease control and prevention and this email is basically um, update reportedly says it updates people about new cases at in their city um, and of course what will happen is if you click on this link um, it will actually redirect you to a different link where viruses or malware or a hacker could get access to your computer. Uh, but again, it looks very legitimate, but it is a scam email. So be very careful of these kinds of emails. Again, you can see the URL, uh, the email address from which it comes, cdc-gov.org. If you don't pay attention to the end, it could seem to come from a very legitimate source, and that's certainly not the case. Okay, let's go on to the to the next email. Again, it appears to be coming from the um, Centers of Disease Control, but this time they're asking for Bitcoin donations and support. Um, again, this is not a legitimate email from which um, this is coming from it says cdcgov.org at the bottom here and it's asking for a donation and again this is a scam so going on to the next one this is from the uk this is an email um which reportedly um, states that it comes from the from the UK government and what it says is that you're eligible for a tax refund of £128.34 or any amount and by clicking on this link you can access your funds. This is a scam. Um, yes there are UK government grants available. They're available from the gov.uk website but if you're getting random emails coming into your account which, which are offering you money um, it's likely to be a scam and of course you shouldn't be clicking off any she shouldn't be clicking on any of these links. Always pay attention from where the email comes from. Um, it's likely that the URL at the top isn't the correct URL for for the legitimate government um, uh, leg legitimate government um, URL. So let's go on to the next one, which is quite a sophisticated scam. So you get a text message basically saying that the UK government has issued a payment of um, X amount to all the residents as part uh, as part of its promise uh, to battle COVID nineteen, and then there's a link. Now it's likely that if you click on this link, you'll end up downloading some viruses or some malware or spyware or allowing a hacker to get access to your system. Um, you will not be getting um, text messages like this from the UK government. So please, please, please do not click on these links. Delete these messages as soon as you get them. Again, um, once you click on the link, sometimes um, you'll be re-diverted to a website where it asks you to enter your postcode for relief. Um, and this website appears to be a legitimate gov.uk website but if you look at the URL, URL at the top it certainly isn't it's 19 forward slash relief.com and once um, the hacker gets your details gets the information um, for uh, where you live your personal details they can use that obviously to steal your identity for example and finally we have one more example 
Um, this is another text message from the uh, supposedly from the UK government. It says, "Warning: Your phone location data um, reveals that you've left your property three times at the following time and date, and you've travelled X amount. You have been fined X amount." Um, and this is simply isn't true. Um, the reason this isn't true is because if you are going to get fined, it will be a legitimate police officer uh, who pulls you over, asks you questions about where you've been, and of course, if you've been out for an illegitimate reason which isn't under the current coronavirus guidelines in the United Kingdom, then you can be fined. But getting a random text message like this um, will mean that it is a scam. If you click on these these links or you, you dial this number, uh, sorry, this, um, this is uh, this is your number, but if you if you click on this link here, it will go onto a site where obviously there'll be viruses or a malware or a hacker can get access to your device. So a couple of tips on how to avoid scams. These are the common ones that are currently going around. Try and avoid them. Try and safeguard your mental health, and of course, try and stay safe.